I've been looking at this story about this gorgeous young lady. She is 19 years old and her name is Sade Robinson. And she was a criminal justice student at Milwaukee Area Technical College in Wisconsin who was reported missing April 1st to the Sheriff's Department. They are accusing Maxwell Anderson of taking her life and dismembering her body. Fears grew for her safety after body parts were discovered in three locations throughout Milwaukee area. He sounds like a serial killer. The Sheriff's Department now says a severed leg was found in the park and it's likely Robinson, the intensity of the situation grew as police took a person of interest, a local bartender named Maxwell Anderson into custody in connection with the discovery of the severed leg. Anderson appeared in Milwaukee County courtroom April 9th, where a judge allowed an extra 72 hour hold. April 12th, he was formally accused of taking Robinson's life and dismembering her body. The sheriff's department wrote in a statement adding that Anderson and Robinson went out to dinner the night before the first body part was found and this is him. I have seen a few videos that people have done about this getting the story out quickly and they are looking at him saying how could she not see that he's crazy? How could she go out with him and he is not anybody to look at? He first of all he's not ugly and second of all nobody's mugshot pictures or jail pictures are flattering ever. I'm sure that he had a lineup on his beard. I'm sure that he had done something to his hair I'm sorry, he is not presenting as a psychopath and he is not presenting as someone who is unattractive. Found along Lake Michigan, leads deputies to a home on Milwaukee South Side. Someone walking in Warnemont Park in Cudahy found the leg along the lakeshore Tuesday. Now police are searching a home roughly seven miles away near 39th in Oklahoma. 12 News, this is James Stratton is live at that house tonight. James, deputies are investigating this case as a homicide. They are, Kristen, just left this house behind me over my right shoulder about five minutes ago. They were searching for more than 24 hours this home here. One person, a person of interest in custody as investigators work to piece this all together. A gruesome discovery, a severed leg found here in Warnemount Park in Cudahy along Lake Michigan Tuesday. Now, this home near 39th in Oklahoma is at the center of a homicide investigation. Milwaukee County Sheriff's deputies and state investigators arrived on scene Thursday. Neighbors Zach Worman and Will Rosado's surveillance cameras were rolling. This is the craziest that I've ever, ever witnessed being here. I'm not, I've been here probably about six, seven years. Investigators have been in and out of the home for 24 hours now. The sheriff's office says they have a person of interest in custody. Worman and Rosado say the gruesome killing it's close to home. You know, I was like, oh my God, I said, I said, this is weird. Yeah. And I was shocked. I was shocked that it was around here, neighbor, next to our neighbor. Nothing really. Uh, this is yeah, a pretty big shock. The pair say the man two doors down was a quiet guy who kept to himself, but they didn't know him personally. The sheriff's office has not identified the person in custody, and so far, no formal charges have been filed. James, what do we know about the victim? Not much. Unfortunately, tonight I've been asking investigators as well as the medical examiner about who that victim is, as well as if they found more than just the leg that they found in Warnemount Park in, Cus in Cudahy, rather. Of course, once we get those details, as we push for them, we'll continue to share them here on air and online. Kristen? You have to prepare for the worst and pray for the best. Worst case scenario, Sade is not with us anymore. Right now, I just want justice from the person who did this to her because nobody deserves to have body parts found in different parts of the state like this. Her uncle stated that. Milwaukee police um, declared Sade Carlene Robinson a critical missing person because they believe she was murdered. And Milwaukee police announced April 2nd that Sade Robinson was deemed a critical missing case. She was last seen in the area of 1800 North Com Commerce Street on Monday, April 1st, and Sade is 19 years old, approximately five feet tall, 135 pounds, with black hair, brown eyes. Sade was last seen wearing a black coat, white hoodie, sweatshirt, blue jeans, and white shoes. Now, friends and family were searching. People with information was asked to call the number provided. Um, they were making Facebook posts to find her. So by November 2nd, they knew that she was no longer with us. They are trying to cover her memorial services and expenses, and they're trying to raise $30,000 to cover that. So, you know, any donations can help. And this is the missing persons poster. She's from Vicksburg, Mississippi. 
It talks about the high school she went to and a lot of her colleagues and people that she knew was um, saying how much they missed her. And then they found um, the car burnt. <laughs> Milwaukee police say 19-year-old Sade Carlina Robinson vanished Monday, last seen at her home near Commerce and Pleasant. That's also the day her mother, Sheena Scarborough, last heard from her. We talk every day. We're a very close-knit family. She's been very successful. She will give anybody anything. She takes care of people. That's how I raise my daughters. Robinson's co-workers at Pizza Shuttle on the east side say they called police for a welfare check after she didn't show up to work Tuesday. Police didn't find Robinson, but family says detectives did find her car burned near 30th and Lisbon. That's about two miles from her home. It was catching on fire and all of a sudden it's getting bigger. So I called the fire department and they um, then you can hear the alarm going off in the car, the airbags exploding. Patricia Newton Powell says a car caught fire in the alley behind her house at 30th and Lisbon around 7.30 Tuesday morning. She doesn't think the fire started on its own. It looks like somebody had started it. Um, Nothing else was smoking outside the car, so it started in the inside. Newton Powell tells 12 News Milwaukee police and Milwaukee County Sheriff's deputies came by her house to ask about the fire. Police did not answer our questions about the fire, just saying this is an active investigation that could turn into a criminal investigation. Robinson was studying criminal justice at MATC, had two jobs, and was about to join the Air Force. She's scheduled to graduate next month. Her birthday's made a tip. Shade Sheena, that's my baby. Now it says here that body parts were found near Sade Robinson's burnt car. And this is his custody record. He's 33 years old. Um, I believe there was information that he lied to her about his age. And her mother is saying that she's mourning and grieving her daughter. And to keep her name out of the mouths, the gossiping and the information. And I, I wanted, I'm glad that her mother said that because I'm going to end um, the article here on that note, because I have been seeing the same thing. I have been seeing some of the most putrid, disgusting, nasty comments. And these comments are coming from black people about her. And because she is a beautiful young lady who it, you see her beautiful natural hair, you see her gorgeous um, melanated skin. And the only thing that people can say is why is she messing with a white male? Why did she go out on a date with a white male who pursued her? Why did she entertain him? Did she not see the coldness and deadness and demon in his eyes? Um, she wanted to have biracial babies. She wanted to divest. She wanted to swear. It's not that like a Jeffrey Dahmer that this man was not giving weirdo, he wasn't giving serial killer, he wasn't giving criminal and murder. He wasn't giving that energy. I'm sure that he had a smile on his face, he was giving her compliments, and she's 19. She's 19, that's never a consideration, especially with black women, because if this was a black male, they're already talking about the basketball player that's young, and he has a baby with someone who is in their late 30s, saying how he's so young, he's so young, um, infantizing him, but then they're sitting up here, dogging this beautiful young lady out, as if this could not have happened, or is not more likely to happen to her in our community. This is disgusting. And I heard black women with her skin tone talking about her. They were saying black women are desperate. That's why they're out here with um, other groups of men. Let me read the disgusting comments and I'll put them on the screen. This is why I didn't give a damn about Stefan Clark and I didn't give a damn about Christian Obenselli because this is what they do. They did it to Lauren Field Smith and they're doing it to this young lady. They're the only ones who can go out here and get these beached whales and these sea lions with a pale color to them. And they're having all these biracial babies. And Cheers to more light skin kids. Cheers to more light skin kids. Cheers to more light skin kids. Really <laughs> They're talking about how the sperm in a colorless man's sack produces something much better than they ever could. But don't go to that man because colorless women are so soft and feminine and different and all of that. That's why they gravitate toward them. They are just so loving and giving and 
that's what the colorless male produces. But oh, don't you go over there going to the best man that produces the best stock of people. This person said, how in the world a 19 year old teen get fined? Yeah, yeah, that's how it's written. Get fined. A 33 year old colorless male that looks like trash attractive. She must be desperate or brainwashed by a black women divestment movement. She wouldn't be the last. And underneath that, um, someone is saying, so true, what a beautiful girl taken out by um, that hideous, dirty caveman who produces the best women. Um, WTF, was she thinking? And the, the person underneath there said, he's colorless. That's all needed to know because they're so intelligent they can't type out um, comments where you can actually read them and understand them. This one said, her family didn't teach her well enough. Another beautiful American woman lost to another barbarian foreigner. This one said, which is true, black men take out black women all the time. So this is not about black and white. This is about an evil colorless man and a super young, inexperienced young lady. And then underneath there, black women take out black children all the time. So it's not about men and black women. This is about a bed wench getting super bad win. Yeah, that evil POS said that. And see, somebody like that is someone who should run into a Derek Chauvin. And this person said, I don't understand why uh, black women think colorless men want them because they're all in our face, all in the DMs. They are stopping you in the middle of the street and all of that. So they don't push harder because they know for the most part, black women um, prefer black males, um, which is changing. But SLB, they're talking about scandal and how it programmed black women and black women are desperate for colorless men. Um, it discussed brothers must avoid. Um, and that person that made that comment has been pretending to be a colorless male and saying crazy things on um, Undisputable with Dr. Rashad Ritchie and he pretends to be a colorless male. But after this story came out, we exposed this is a black male pretending to be a colorless male by the racist things that he was saying. So just wanted to put that out there. But there are also black women who are saying some disgusting things. This lady from Redirecting, I listened to what she had to say and it made me sick to my stomach, is pro-black. She is is black male identified to the highest order because she has daughters and sons, but she had, she really, you can tell she holds her son in high esteem. And then, you know, it's, it's not the same. It doesn't sound the same when she talks about her sons with her daughters. I think the language that she used behind this was disgusting. I'm not going to say that she's never talked about black men who have taken out um, black women or any of that information she has. But specifically with this 19 year old girl, to not see this girl as your daughter, to not see this girl as someone who is coming into the world, into this chaotic world and judging her just because she went on a date as if she said she was going to marry this man, she was running away with this man, as if she was um, going to have this man's baby. She went on a date. And because she went on a date with not a black man, it almost made it sound like she deserved what she got. And to know that she has parents that could run into the video or run into these comments and the, and black people say this and you wonder why you're in the fucking position that you're in right now because you are even more disgusting than the racist that you talk about. This is the way you talk about a dark skinned young girl who was just beginning her life all because she didn't date within her race. As if your sons are not out here littering non-black women with beige children and marrying them and being with them. But you have the audacity and the nerve to drag this beautiful young woman and act like she's supposed to be pro-black, even though we know. We know every five hours, not even every five and a half hours, but every five hours, a black woman is taken out by her counterpart. Pregnant women get it the worst. They have taken out um, their wives or girlfriends or partners and the children. They have found out the woman that they were seeing on the side is pregnant and she is expecting them to step up and take her out and then hide her body. Plenty of black serial killers running around. This guy was a sick sadist. They said they had found disgusting things in his basement. He was looking for someone who may have been inexperienced, impressionable, and she may have found him at the time attractive and went out on a date. And people are talking about her. She's desperate. She wants to swirl. She's divesting. She's, you know, these, this disgusting rhetoric. And everyone who talks about her, you can go straight to hell. You're a disgusting piece of ish. 
and the males that are talking ish and you set up here and you go out the you date out the most and you have the nerve to have your crusty dusty lips talking about this beautiful young girl you can go straight to hell first you set up here and say don't police your your peen don't talk about you know who you date um these women are better but then you have the nerve to expect black women to stand there and and hope and pray and keep hope alive that you want to mess with a f you this is not a common occurrence black women um, are the least likely to date out just like asian men to act like this is something that goes on all the time it happens once in a blue moon this is not the standard there are criminals among every group of men right now there are african women who are being trafficked and turned into enslaved people and ex-slaves in an Arab country. So yes, there are disgusting males, a lot of them in every single race and culture. Disgusting and despicable. But this is put on a pedestal because it is a beautiful young black woman and a white male. But this, this is not commonplace. Commonplace is someone who looks like her taking her out. That happens every single day. And I just pray for her family. And I hope that this disgusting psychopath gets the death penalty. And I'm wondering if there's more victims out there. I don't know if he was specifically targeting because he's 33. This just didn't happen, oh, you know, with this one date. So I, I'm wondering if they are talking with him to see if there's any victims or looking into cases of missing persons in the area i would hope so their family can get peace of mind as well this this one it really hurts because she had her whole life ahead of her she's a gorgeous young woman and the only thing she did was go out on a date but then you had men asking why would a woman ever choose a bear in the woods versus a man in the woods take a look at this case and so many more so many more i always bring up brock Turner. He is a colorless male and he drug a colorless young teenage girl behind a dumpster and he was out in three months because the judge had sympathy for him. You, you know, like I said, women protect yourself, get you some mace, look at the laws of any knives or handguns that you could carry with you because you never know. They come, you know, they can come dressed up, you know, have been in the military or have their own business or coming with um, compliments and smiles and just dead inside and a predator. They are talking about this young girl instead of talking about this predator. And he was a danger to her and took her life and a danger to other women. And that just sends chills down your spine that this predator has been out there amongst women all this time. But I'll go ahead and leave it right here. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about those despicable comments. Let me know what you think about people blaming this girl because she decided to go on a date. How dare she? Mm -hmm.